than the bits of information being uh, exchanged and communicated are individually, most of the time, really quite minor. They're small bits. Uh, almost uh, some of them the equivalent of small talk. And yet uh, uh, the system works. We're sooner or later out of the small bits and the steadily growing masses of information, uh, suddenly uh, sense begins to be made and a new observation about nature is, is made. There is, if all goes well, quite a lot to look forward to. Already we've seen the assembly of particles of exchanged thought into today's structures of art and science. And it is done by simply passing the bits around from mind to mind until something like natural selection makes the final selection. Ambiguity seems to be an essential, indispensable element for the transfer of information where matters of real importance are concerned. We go through a cycle of bewilderment and discovery. Speechless animals and cells cannot do this. Only the human mind is designed to work in this way, programmed to drift away in the presence of locked-on information. If it were not for the capacity for ambiguity, for the sensing of strangeness, we would have no way of recognizing the layers of counterpoint and meaning. And one has experiences something like this uh, with significant music. And for me, listening to Bach is like this. I'm not at all sure what it is that that uh, that makes it uh, terribly important to spend a lot of time uh, listening to Bach. Uh, but I know that it is important, and that it uh, it simply has to be done. But I'd be hard put to it to explain to anybody um, why, for for instance, um, uh, the art of the fugue is 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 such a meaningful experience uh, and why it is that uh, uh, in the last of the pieces uh, that B flat A C B natural C sharp D Bach signature is so such an overwhelming thing to, to hear but I've got no explanation for this at all surrounded by information of this sort, very important stuff, full of ambiguity and full of probably numberless choices for us to make. <laughs>